How's that screwdriver, Ruby? What are you gonna fix? What are you gonna fix today? Huh? Ah! Hi! Are you fixing stuff? Yeah? You obviously want to take this thing apart. So who who took this in? What the hell is this? Fake, I don't know. I mean, fake five dollar bill. I got it out of the, the register other yesterday. Other than the color, it's pretty convincing. The paper's textured and it's smaller, and it doesn't have a watermark in it. Uh, fake, totally fake. Five dollar bill. Can't believe somebody's faking five dollar bills. Watch yesterday. I'm just gonna list it out. That's not for this watch. They were in there. Yeah, but that's I know. That's not for the watch, so ignore. Okay. Just ignore that and, and pause the watch. I took a picture already. Am I gonna take them again? Listed yeah. for uh, yeah. eight grand. See so yeah. if you get a bite. I listed for eight dollars. No, no, don't, don't list it with this. Man. No, that's they don't. I don't know why they were in there. Okay. All right, boys, I'm going drifting. All right. All right, guys, my first stop, my local place. Picked up a couple things. Picked up uh, shoes by Trossardi. I don't know if you can see that inside, Trossardi. Brand new, never used. Uh, eight bucks, size 42, so about uh, 10, 10 US. And I sold these shoes once, used dress shoes like that and I sold them for like 60 or 70 bucks so these being brand new hopefully we can get some decent money so I don't know exactly how much we gotta look them up but uh, yeah, good money right there picked up this uh, luggage uh, Ricardo Beverly Hills uh, the bag is used and this is gonna go in a shop I paid eight dollars uh, I probably get like 30 bucks in a shop, but on the inside, on the inside, uh, there's a carry-on bag, brand new with the tags, and you can see, I bet you that was for the whole set, but the original sticker price, 340 bucks, but this carry-on bag is like brand new. The bag is never used. It's got all the all the stuff inside as well. All the tags are inside too. Uh, the belt, carrying belt. So this can go online. I bet you I can get 30, 40 bucks for this uh, carry-on bag. And the big one is gonna go for sale in the shop. So good score on the first stop. All right, this is second stop. This Goodwill right here, it's becoming my favorite Goodwill. Uh, first of all, it's located in very wealthy town and surrounded by wealthy towns. So lately I've been finding really good stuff in here. So uh, let's go in and see if I can do some damage. All right, guys, just left. Uh, not super amazing, but I got a couple things. Uh, I got a nice Sensui Quartz. Tuner uh, T700. This is that uh, late 80s, early 90s stuff from Sensui. So it's not the best, but for uh, $3.99, I still can get like 40 bucks out of it. Then I got a Sony radio CD clock snooze alarm thing, uh, $4.99. Um, these Sony units are solid 30 bucks all day long and then I got like three remote controls they're all 99 cents each uh, Samsung Toshiba JVC and I got a Cabela's sweatshirt for myself actually I like the color uh, for fishing so I like that all right let's keep going I'm at Salvation Army. Donations card are lined up. I usually never find anything at uh, Salvation Army, but this time I did. Let me show you. So today is Wednesday. They had uh, all the white tags 50% off. 
so I scored the Sherwood uh, stereo receiver overall nice condition just needs to be cleaned up powered on most of the functions we're working on it so more testing later uh, so that one was 20 bucks this I should get probably 80 to 100 then we got a couple blue tags no discount on it Sony DVD combo um, $18 Sony cassette player uh, six dollars probably about $29.99 and about sixty dollars for this unit and 25% off on green tag this was 1996 so 15 bucks for this one the reason I picked it up had a manual remote control with it and very nice condition it's a Denon DCM 460 disc uh, um, five disc CD changer so then usually sells very good that should be probably about 50 to 60 bucks as well maybe even a little bit more since I got the remote all right next goodwill usually this one is so picked through I don't find anything but I did find a couple things this time let me show you and they are both Toshibas so $4.99 for this uh, four head VHS Toshiba no remote and then this is a cool find uh, early 80s made in Japan Toshiba little boombox cassette player radio 399 can't go wrong um, if I wait for the right buyer I can get 40 50 bucks for this little guy this is R2 SF2 just needs to be cleaned up but overall good condition so uh, I think I'm gonna hit one more shop and that's gonna be it all right guys I made my last stop in a little thrift shop and it was nothing there it's a little tiny place once in a while I'll score something there but I'm overall very happy uh, hit what like four or five stores did pretty good so uh, heading back to the shop it's 4 p.m. now unload everything clean test and get it ready for listing and we'll see what happens in the shop oh. hi where's Adrian I just walked out that way Rianos, yeah, I want both of you. <laughs> Come over, both of you, in here. Now obviously, in here, in here, obviously Vicky is the special one here, and I'll tell you why. So we got these four letters here, one is addressed to Peter and Milo, one to Adrian, one to Vicky, one to Ryan and Ruby, Aww. but look who's special. So Peter and Milo, Adrian with the smiley face, Ryan and Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really likes Vicky, I guess. It's from Canada. So, uh, and it says happy birthday, so I don't know. Open it up. Was it your birthday recently or no. something? No. Well, happy birthday anyway. That's right. Every day is a birthday for someone. Adrian, open yours. It's so cute. I don't want to open mine now. Why not? I want to hide in the dark corner. Look at what nice handwriting. Yeah. Does it say who it is from? Because on top it doesn't say on any of these envelopes. Everybody Maybe from Toronto. Everybody is uh, very quiet. <laughs> okay. Read yours. I will in a second. Obviously nobody wants to share. All right. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Ruby, this one's for you. Can you read it? Don't be scared of the camera. Read it. Read it. There you go. Read it. Well, this one is for you and Ryan. So as soon as Ryan comes back tomorrow, 
you guys can read it. Well, thank you very much, C family, for the nice letter, and uh, we should fill in the request for you guys. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Ruby, how is that screwdriver? Are you gonna fix something? What are you doing? You know that's not for you. Why are you playing with a screwdriver? Are you crazy bird? It's mine now. <laughs>